when I started this project, the homework I got from, <laughs> from the Ubisoft team was go home and play. My name is uh, Einar Salvik, a musician and composer from Norway. My name is Julie Fowlis and I'm a musician and a singer from Scotland. I predominantly sing in Scottish Gaelic. The music that I perform is deeply rooted, the music of the Highlands and Islands in particular. I understood quickly that myself and people in the music team of, of Ubisoft, we had a lot of the same ideas of, of and, and vision of what my part in it could be. When I decided I wanted to have Julie on board and she accepted, I could already hear the music in a way. I've known Julie for a, for a long time, been a, been a fan and uh, yeah, always hoped uh, at, at some point uh, come a, an opportunity to do something together. I do connect to, to, um, to her way of approaching the older um, song traditions. It, it feels great to have her part of this. It was certainly an amazing opportunity to work with Einar. I love his work, I love his music, and his approach to making music. To work with Einar on these songs um, was just something to me that felt quite natural and really enjoyable, actually. I have implemented instruments such as the, um, the lyre, which would be the most common string instrument at the time. I, of course, used the, uh, the, the bronze horns that we uh, also have in, in Scandinavia and, and was present in Ireland at this time and, and for a long period before this as well. One instrument that I introduced that I didn't use in the main game is, is the kruth. It's a form of lyre, uh, was present in both Ireland and Wales and Scotland. So of the two songs that we worked on, one of them was in Old Irish, uh, Flan for Eden. That is actually an excerpt of a poem dating from the early 800s. That was the intention of the song, creating a, a, a praise poem for Flan. The Leafal is, there are many strange myths about it. It is sort of the, the coronation stone that had a power of choosing the, the king. When a truthful king would touch it, the ground would resound beneath it. It is sort of the, the heartstone of Ireland. It was really a great experience working on these two songs. They were very, very different. Uh, stylistically um, and linguistically also. We wanted the Gaelic language, Old Irish uh, Gaelic, which is a mysterious language. This is a, a language that we have evidence of through writing, but we don't know how, how it sounded. We don't actually know for sure how it sounded, so it's a little bit uh, of uh, educated guessing. The legend is that the stone will bring woe, but the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. But Kiera is a very important uh, character in this story. Kiera means a dark haired one, and it was challenging for me too. I had to adopt the voice of this amazing character who's a very, very strong character. But it was really incredible um, recording the voice parts and being directed in real time from Canada. I put a lot of heart into my work. It's important that it reflects the, the game, but also reflects the culture. The music and the language, they really shape our identity as Gales. It was hugely satisfying to work on the music. And actually for me, it was a great way to channel some creativity during the pandemic.